Okay, and then I'm gonna mute the group. And then of course, always say something if you want, just unmute. So we will start on the back then. And um, knees bent and feet flat. Moving the arms away from the sides, just find that place where the arms let go, the shoulders, the shoulder blades. And them all sink down onto the ground. And let's feel the back body where it's making contact with the ground. Simply releasing, letting the weight rest into the mat. And it may be just a little tuck to the chin, a little lengthening in the neck. Let's have a couple of breaths here, maybe a few more than two, but a handful of breaths. Nice full breaths where the ribs widen. And breathing also down into the belly. And when we have our exhale, have it last longer. So we can sink the belly down in the hips and then gently press the sacrum flat against the mat. At some point we're gonna breathe in and then just release the hips and let's widen the ribs. Allow that low back to lift from the mat with a big in-breath. Whenever we're exhaling, again, sinking into the belly with the breath, gently flattening at the sacrum. And then when we have a new exhale, let's bring the knees up. So hands will bring the knees toward the shoulders. And then we'll take the knees a little wider. We'll bring the feet up higher than our knees. And let's just begin with our ankles making circles. So just giving the legs some support with the, the hands, the arms getting the feet to circle in both directions.
And as we're working here with our legs, we're gonna gently press on the sacrum. See if we can keep it as flat as we can with the movement going on through the legs. And now rather than circle at the ankles, let's take the feet in circles around the knee. And using both directions. And then let's come still. We'll have the hands on top of the knees. Bringing the knees toward the shoulders. And let's use the eyes. We're gonna look downward. Imagining we could see the ribs. Now with the hands, take the knees a bit wider and then circle them close together. I'm going to get these circles going in both directions. And then let's bring the knees close together. Now use the hands to touch the knees. We'll lightly press them together. And then with the hands, circle the knees. So we end up rolling our weight around the perimeter of the sacrum. At some point, let's switch direction. And when we feel balanced in the circling, we'll just pause in the center. And then take the hands between the knees. So make two fists and put the fists between the knees. Bring the feet up just a bit higher, roughly knee height. And then push the knees against the fists. So squeeze the knees together. And keeping our neck long. Let's look for those hands. And really make the effort on the exhale, squeezing the knees. And on the inhale, just release, soften in place. And then at the end of the exhale, let's just move the hands on top of the knees again and just relaxing the legs. Use the hands to move the knees toward the ribs for a moment. And then bring the knees again about hips width apart. And just in toward the ribs, uh, the feet about knee height. And we're going to put the hands on the outsides of the knees. So here, when we exhale, we're gonna push the knees apart into the hands and we're gonna resist. And just softening a bit on the inhale.
And let's do one more. So when we finish that exhale, just holding the knees, relaxing the legs, use the arms to take the knees a bit wider. Find the sacrum, have it flat on the mat. And one or two breaths. We'll take them right into the belly, have the inhale, expand the belly, have the exhale, sink the belly into the back. Okay, now let's bring the knees a bit closer together. And then let the knees slide out from the hands and just let the feet land on the mat. And then let's take the arms straight up sideways from the shoulders. And when we're breathing out, just tip both knees over to the right side, turn the head, look to the left side. Now turn that left palm down in the ground and turn a bit further so the shoulder rotates up off the mat. An inhale will bring us back up to neutral. We'll travel to the other side as we exhale. I'm just easing side to side. So let's do our last cycle. So knee, when the knees go left as our last time, and so once we're done, we'll bring the arms a bit lower down. And just position the legs where we can press gently onto the soles of the feet. As we press on the feet, let's press the sacrum flat. Now from here, when you breathe in, as you inhale, roll the weight down through the sacrum toward the top of the tailbone and have the back of the waist, the lumbar spine, arc up off the mat. And see if you can get that lift all the way up along the spine, and we can feel the shoulder blades. So kind of connecting shoulder blades and tailbone here. At some point we need to breathe out. And when we do, we'll just sink the back onto the ground and then lift the tailbone a little bit more and see if you can find the top of the hips and find their contact with the mat. So let's go slowly back and forth. So the inhales roll the weight toward the top of the tailbone, arcing the spine up off the mat. At some point we exhale and when we do, we just release. And then once the release is underway, add a little more tuck find the top of the hips on that exhale. And on the in-breath, when we're doing that lift, really giving ourselves the opportunity to lift the chest up.
And let's do one more cycle. We'll end with our exhale. And when we're ready to, just take a moment to release the hips, release the back. And then when we're breathing out here, we'll bring the knees up again. And we'll take the hands on our knees. We'll take a moment, we're gonna bring the knees into the ribs. When we're breathing out, we'll lift the upper back, lift the head, the neck, the shoulders, and we'll bring our shoulders towards our knees, hugging the knees toward the shoulders. And when we need to inhale again, on that inhale, rest the head down. I'm still holding the knees. Okay, so what we'll do here, we'll lift the feet a bit higher. We'll bring the knees out of the ribs and have the knees just above the ribs. We'll take the feet a bit higher. They're about knee height. And let's cross the wrists. So we're holding the opposite knee. We're going to keep the eyes looking downward, keeping our neck long, and then release the right arm. Take the right arm vertical, rotate the arm, push up through the palm towards the ceiling, and put the left heel down on the mat, just the tiniest amount of weight, and then scrape out the left heel, lower the right arm by the ear. Now we'll push out through the foot, we'll push out through the hand. And see if you can float that left leg just off the mat. When you float the left leg, find the sacrum. Press the sacrum flat. Now, when you breathe in, let's take the leg and the arm upright. And then bend the knee, put the hand back on the knee. And we'll switch sides, reaching up the left arm. Rotate and press up, lower the arm, touch the heel down, extend the leg. And then see if we can float the leg. So if we float the leg, we definitely want to have the sacrum flat. Some days we can't get the sacrum flat with the leg floating. So in those days, we want the leg on the mat. Working out through the palm, working out through the foot, working with the sacrum. And then when we inhale, we'll take them both vertical. And we'll bend the knee. The hand goes back to the knee and we'll switch sides. Right arm reaching, left heel touching down and right arm by the ear. Out through the foot, out through the palm contact the sacrum, have the eyes looking downward. And on the in-breath, arm and leg upright, bend the knee, hand goes back to the knee, and we'll go right to the left arm, reaching up, right heel touching down, arm by the ear, leg extended, floating the leg, pressing into the sacrum. And then in breath, they're both up, hand goes to the knee. And we'll do it once more for each side. But before we do, for this last round, we're gonna just turn the feet, so both feet point over to the right side, and then we'll take the right arm up. So we'll lower the right arm by the eel, ear, left heel touches down, left leg extends. And as we go through the whole cycle on the right side here, we'll keep the toes, the feet pointed to the right. And so find the sacrum, work on it coming flat, Locate all that strength in the belly. 
And when we inhale, leg comes up, arm comes up. So toes still turn to the right. And then bend the knee, release the ankles. We've got a hand on both knees. And now rotate the feet so the toes point left. Take the left arm up, rotate and push up through the arm. And then bring the arm down, bring the heel down, extending the right leg. Keep working with the ankles, working with the sacrum, working out through the foot, through the hand. Okay, when we take an inhale, let's bring them both up vertical. And then release the ankles, bend both knees, and let's put the hands back on their own knee. Now use the arms to hold the weight of the legs. Let the legs move apart. Just find the right place to hold the legs where the sacrum comes flat, the legs can release. We've got the arms doing the work here. We'll give ourselves a couple of deep breaths into our belly. And now bring the knees closer, just about hips width apart. Still holding with the hands. And then relax the hands and let the knees just slide out, the feet land, and then rest the arms on the mat for a moment. So just relax the back and simply feel where the contact to the ground, feel where it is. Okay, now the right hand, slip the right palm underneath the head, have the head rest on the palm. And when we're exhaling, lift the head in the hand, look down at the legs, bring the left knee in. Left hand's going to hold the knee, and we'll help the knee and the face get a little closer together. And we need to inhale. We'll put the head back down. We'll put that left foot down. And we'll come up again when we exhale. Let's do one more, our own timing here. So whenever we finish, just resting the head, releasing the arms, letting go at the back. So wherever it lands on the ground, wherever the weight is, just relaxing, experiencing it. And then taking the left hand underneath the head, resting the head on the palm. When we exhale, lift the head in the hand, we'll bring the right knee in. And on the inhale, they both return. Now moving with our own breathing.
And our last time. So resting our head and resting our arms when we're done. Now bring the legs close together, the feet close together. And then take both arms straight up for the ceiling and bring the palms touching. Then we'll gently reach up through the fingertips. And then take both arms over to the left. Now as they move further left, the right hand starts to slide down the left arm, let the elbow bend, and let that left arm touch all the way to the ground, just straight out to the side from the shoulder, and then have the right hand just come further up the left, onto the chest, and we'll drop the right elbow over to the right side, and we're gonna look there, see the elbow. And then slide that right hand back toward the left, over the left shoulder, have the head turn, and slide as far down the arm as you can, that left arm. And then to go further, you're gonna to have to lift the left arm. So we end up where we began with both arms vertical, the palms touching, and then let the hands go to the right. And so now the left hand sliding down the right arm, right arm going to the mat, left hand coming up all the way onto the shoulder. And that left hand now traveling across the chest as that left elbow drops to the ground. And we're looking left. So let's come back again with the left hand sliding across the chest going down the right arm until it's straight, and then the right arm lifting up off the ground. And we're gonna get both arms vertical again. Now, when we're ready, both arms going to the left. Again, the right hand starts to slide down the left arm. This time, roll over onto the left side. So let the knees drop to the left. And that left arm rests on the ground. And now the right hand travels up, left shoulder, crosses the chest, head turns, and we'll get to the place where that right elbow touches down and now open up the elbow, extend the right arm and let it rest on the ground with our head looking right. Now, let's reverse, so we'll bend the right elbow, the hand touching the chest, and then the hand sliding left, the head turning, and we're gonna slide that right arm all the way down the left, and then go out past the left hand. And then when you're ready, slide the right hand back onto the left and all the way up the left arm, crossing over across the chest, right elbow touches down, and then right arm unfolds. And then let's travel back. So we bend the right elbow, hand to the chest, sliding the hand across the chest and down the left arm. We're gonna slide out past the left hand. So this time we're gonna come up. So as you're ready to bring the palms one on top of each other, 
And when the palms are touching, lift both arms together up toward the ceiling. And as the arms lift at some point, we're gonna bring the legs back up. And then we end up with the knees bent, the feet flat, both hands up toward the ceiling. And let's travel to the other side. So let the arms lead and the arms head over to the right. And as the arms travel over, at some point, the knees are gonna drop over too. And we end up on the right side. And let's slide that left hand out past the right palm. And then when you're ready to, bring the right hand across the left. Sorry, it's the left hand, isn't it? It travels across the lower arm, up across the chest, and then that left elbow is gonna drop down. Left arm extends, we're looking left. So we're gonna reverse this. So the left arm, we bend the elbow, touch the shoulder or chest, slide across to the right, all the way down the right, out past the palm. And then come back up the right arm again, left hand traveling across the chest. Elbow touches down and arm extends. And then bending that left elbow, hand touches, and then the hand slides right all the way across and down the arm. Go out past the hand as you get there. And then we're gonna leave here. So we'll bring the palms together. And then lifting the arms, bring the arms up, palms together, have the shoulders drop. And at some point the knees can follow. And then from there, simply lower the arms and pause for a moment with the arms on the mat. Okay, so from here, let's bring just the right leg up. So both hands draw the right knee in toward the shoulder. And then stretch down the left leg. So left leg's gone straight. Just take a moment where you push down into the heel and see if the leg can float just off the mat. And then release the right arm. Take the right arm up by the ear. Press out through the palm. And then press into the sacrum. And then lower the left leg back on the mat. Use the left hand to take the right leg over to the left side. And we're gonna move that right arm away from the ear out to the side. Let's float the arm off the mat, rotating the arm, gently press out in the palm. So the right leg's over at the left side. We're hooking that left hand around that thigh where it's comfortable just to gently draw the leg down. So tuck the tailbone, press down that lower leg, left leg, press through the foot. Keep that little bit of tuck in the tailbone. So we're lengthening through the sacrum, through the low back. And then just lengthen the neck and use the eyes to look down the top side of the body. So we won't turn the neck face toward the ceiling, eyes working downward. And then soften and let's return onto the back. So bring that right arm down, take hold of the right knee, bring the left leg up, 
take hold of the left knee. Just pause for a moment, letting the back release here. And now extend down the right leg. And for a moment, both knees, both hands, bring that left knee closer. And then release the left arm, take it up by the ear. And then use the right arm to take that left knee over to the right. So hook the hand on the thigh. We'll keep the face toward the ceiling. Reach down that lower leg, tuck the tailbone. Press out that upper arm. And then move that upper arm away from the ear, out to the side. Just find a comfortable place, arm just off the ground. We're gently pushing outward. Okay, let's release. We're going to undo. So we'll roll to the back. That left hand's going to reach the left knee. We're going to bring up the right knee. We're going to hold both knees. And then just return the feet to the mat. So a fun way to do that is just let the legs release out of the hands and they kind of fall to the mat and just let the legs be basically the feet where they land. A little bit of adjustment, so they're about hips width apart. So at some point, we're going to breathe out. And when we do, we're going to pull the knees in again. We're going to lift the upper body, curl up toward the knees. When we breathe in, put the head down. Again, let the hands uh, just slip off the knees, let the knees land. So once uh, the feet land, sorry, once the feet are down, swing the arms up by the ears, rotate the arms, press out through the palms, tuck the tailbone and lift the spine here. Press on the feet, push out through the knees, press down with the backs of the shoulders, keep the neck long, don't arch the neck, look down for the hips, bring the hips up so they make a line from shoulder blades to hips to knees, pressing in the feet, push out with the knees. And we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna put the hips down. We're gonna bring the legs in. Now swing the arms up and over by the thighs and push out with the palms and float the feet up. So when we float the feet up, the feet need to be above the hips, not hanging way out there. So keeping the knees bent as you need to pull the feet above hips, push out in the palms, look for the low belly. And we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna land the feet, swing the arms up and over, lift the back. So arms just away from the ears, just that comfortable width where we can locate the backs of the shoulders, the shoulder blades. Extend out through the palms, lengthen the neck, looking downward. So the hips just high enough so we get a nice line from shoulder blades to tailbone to knees and push out with the knees, press on the feet. Get a feeling of pulling the heels toward the hips. So tailbone needs to tuck here. We need to keep that low back feeling long. And really see if you can move the shoulder, shoulder blades. And let's reverse again. So we're going to land the hips, bring in the knees, reach the arms forward, up, over, and forward alongside the thighs. And float the feet up higher, push out in the palms, look down for the belly, lengthen the neck.
Okay, let's put the head down. Bend the knees, land the feet, and we'll lift the hips again. So knees, hips, shoulder blades, find the line. Tuck the tailbone. So keep the neck long. We want to be attentive to where the weight is between shoulders, neck, and head. When I have the neck extended, the eyes looking downward. The backs of the shoulders have to take most of the weight here. And press in the feet and pull the feet in toward the hips. And then release the hips down. We're going to lift up again our last time. Pulling in the knees, working up the legs, pressing out the palms, lift the upper back. Look for the belly. Okay, let's land the head and simply put the feet down and this time just rest the arms down. Have the arms away from the sides and release the shoulders. Okay, so we're going to have the arms stay on the ground, but we'll give them a new position. So right now they're below the shoulders. And just drag them on the ground and get the hands laying on the ground a little higher than the shoulders. And then stretch out the left leg straight. Now the left arm. We're gonna take it along the ground, up above the head, over to the right side. Now, as it crosses to the right, let the body roll to the right. So that bent right knee will just touch. And then bring that left arm further to the right side and have it come just past the right arm. Just past the right arm. Turn both palms down. Bring the chest toward the mat. Okay, and now from here, walk the hands or drag the hands in and we slide ourselves up or walk ourselves up. And once we're up and can find the hips, once you find the hips with an in-breath, swing the arms into the air and we'll come upright and we end up naturally turning, looking at this straight leg. And when we take an exhale, drop forward, land the hands on the straight leg. And just relax down, holding on somewhere, just releasing down toward this straight leg. Now we're really trying to let the back relax down. And once we feel our back releasing, then work with the elbows and gently press the elbows forward. Let them bend a little wider perhaps. So we wanna move the shoulder blades here. We'll keep the chin just a little tucked so the neck can feel long. And we'll come up with our inhale. So when we're breathing in, coming tall, slide the hands up the legs. And once you feel that the ribs are above the hips, we'll lift the arms up alongside the ears. And then we'll turn to the right toward the bent knee and then let the hands touch down just back of that leg, slide the arms out. And we're gonna slide all the way back down onto the mat. And then once we landed on the ground, let that left arm come back up overhead and it'll cross back to the left side. And we're gonna end up 
where we began. So we began with the right knee up, the foot flat. So we wanna find that. And the arms resting above shoulder height. And then step up the left foot. So now again, both knees bent, feet flat. And just pause for the back. And then while we're just taking a moment here, gently press the sacrum flat. And then let's extend down the right leg. So it's gonna go straight. So now it's the right arm that moves. So we'll take it up along the ground, up overhead, over to the left. And then we're gonna roll onto our left side. And once that right arm comes below the left hand, put the hands flat. Make contact with the ribs on the mat. And then from there, draw the hands in. Just walk the hands up, slide the hands up. As we get taller, at some point we settle into our hips. And at that point, bring the arms up in the air turn naturally toward the straight leg. And on the exhale, reach down, take hold. Now just relax the back, give it a chance to let go to find the position. And then we'll do a bit of work with the arms where we'll carefully press the elbows forward, apart. Let's come back up again. So using the inhale, we'll slide the hands up the legs, ribs above hips. When we're tall, we'll bring the arms up by the ears and then we'll turn towards the bent leg. Let the hands land, slide the hands out, come all the way down, have some weight on the ribs. And then that right arm slides up overhead, sliding over to the right, we roll on the back, and then let's have that left knee up in the air, left foot flat, and then we'll step in the right. And we'll take a moment to press the sacrum flat. And now we're gonna do this once more for each side. So we'll start by lengthening the left leg and we'll take the left arm up overhead. We'll roll here onto our right side. And then once the ribs can touch and the hands can start to walk in, we'll bring ourselves up. And once the weight's on the hips, ribs above hips, we'll bring the arms up, turn naturally towards the straight leg and release out over the straight leg, making contact and melting forward. Now let's release. So when we're ready with an inhale, just sliding the hands up the legs, bringing ourselves tall. Once our weight's back in the hips, we'll float the arms up by the ears. And then we'll turn toward that bent leg, land the hands, slide the hands outward, coming all the way down. And then 
take that left arm up overhead and roll back onto the back. And we'll have both knees bent, both feet flat, rest the arms above the shoulders for a breath or two here. Take the sacrum flat. And then extend out the right leg. So now right arm comes up overhead. We'll roll to our left side. Bring that right hand all the way over. So we come onto our ribs and the hands are about shoulders width apart. And then we'll walk or slide the hands up. We'll bring ourselves tall. Once we have our weight in the hips, we'll bring the arms up over the overhead alongside the ears. Turning to the straight leg, release. Okay, and now we're gonna leave and we'll just come tall, slide the hands up the straight leg. Now, once you're tall, rather than um, release back onto the mat, let's keep ourselves in a seated position. So once we brought ourselves up, let's just extend out that left leg and we end up with both legs stretched out in front of us. We're gonna bend the knees a little bit and we'll just lightly bounce the legs. And then we're going to draw the knees a bit higher and we're going to get a handful of circles coming out of the heels up through the knees into hips. And really for ourselves, get that whole connection moving here. Okay, now from there, Bring the knees closer, pull them in closer, put the hands behind and drop knees one side, then the other. Let the hips rock and really let the body shift as we go from side to side. And then when the knees head over to the right, just come all the way up and just find the hips. I wanna be able to sink our tailbone here and take length up the back body and we're gonna get a gentle twist. So it's the ribs and shoulders we wanna turn. We use the fingertips for stability. We wanna keep ourselves that feeling of chest above hips. We want to minimize the leaning in any direction. So we'll get less twist, but we just want to explore staying upright, staying centered in our core here. So don't overturn the neck. We really want to turn shoulders, ribs. And as we get to the limit of our turning, see what's going on in the hips. And especially this, we're at the right side. So the left leg, the back leg. See if we can stay calm inside. And then let's soften. We're gonna release naturally back to the center. And then just changing the legs, we'll twist now to the left. So we're gonna use the fingertips. And we wanna find our tailbone. Staying tall, we turn ribs, we turn shoulders, still dropping the tailbone. And then just as ease back to center and 
from here we'll change again. We're gonna come onto hands and knees. So maybe just slide out the hands, lift the hips. We'll come up onto hands and knees. We'll go through some cat and dog stretches. And as we go through cat and dog stretches, also shift the weight forward and back. So we'll get that classic motion with the spine. And we'll send the spine forward. We'll send it backward as we go through the, the cat, the dog. And then slowing down, move the hips back a little bit and then send the hips side to side. So think of the right shoulder pressing a bit outward to the right side as the hips reach to the left side and then switching. And then the head's naturally gonna go toward the side the hips go. So if you pause at either side, the hips have gone to one side, the shoulder gently poking away from the hips and the head turning to the side of the hips. And then try the other side. And then when you're ready to just release and take one or two more cats and dogs. And then come to the knees being a bit closer than hips width apart. We're gonna work with our toes tucked under. Bring the hands a little closer in than shoulder width. Now push up in the shoulders, lift the ribs up away from the mat. And then take that left arm off the ground, bring it up alongside the ear, rotate the arm and push forward. Now we're gonna lengthen here on the left side all the way down to the hips, but be careful with the placement of the hips. If we can keep them square rather than have the hip moving forward because the arm and shoulder is. So we wanna find that engagement and then that left arm, move it away from the ear and bring it below the shoulder. So stays, it stays at the height of the core, but it's lower than the shoulder and just gently but clearly push outward. Now keep the ribs lifted, keep the neck long and then bring it a bit lower down. So But we came from below the shoulder and now we're down closer to the hip and the same thing is pushing out. Again, try to keep the core body aligned and keep lifted through the right arm, the right shoulder. Okay, relax the left, put it down on the mat. And then uh, bring the right arm up alongside the ear. Rotate the arm, push out, keep the hips square. And then go out to the side, just below shoulder height and press out, still lifting the body up. It's very easy to start to sink down here. So right now we're just a bit below the shoulder. Let's come further downward toward the hip. And pushing outward. See, so we can keep that rotation as we press out through the palm, through the fingers. And then let's release and we'll get both hands back on the mat. Now move the knees wider apart, flatten the feet and drop the hips down. We'll come into child's pose for a couple of breaths.
Okay. So let's lift the hips again, and we're going to go onto our back now. Knees bent, feet flat. Okay, press on the feet and lift the hips. Now, bring the hands underneath the hips and then tuck the shoulders under. So see if the fingers can interlace gently and don't force the wrists. Like if that becomes a strain on the hands or wrists, then we just keep the hands apart. Now we're gonna see if we can get the weight clearly on the upper arms, on the shoulders, lengthen the neck and relax the neck. And then work on lifting the upper chest. So pressure on the feet, bring the hips up, and see if you can really lift and expand the upper chest. So be prepared to shift the hands. You know, we could be holding the hands, depending on our proportions, we could be touching our heels. Okay, now let's lower the hips. And when the hips are down, slide the hands to the knees and bring the knees in. We're gonna have the knees about hips width apart. And then let's see if we can keep the knees close in toward the ribs and take the soles of the feet up toward the ceiling. So ideally, we're feeling pretty even pressure from the top of the hips all the way up, pretty much to the top of the back here. So for ourselves, we're adjusting, so it feels as even as we can get it. Now put the hands on the hips, and we're gonna see if we can boost our hips into the air. So using our version, probably on an exhale, so we can kind of kick the legs up a bit, get the hips to lift. So the knees come roughly over our face and our hands on the hips. So it's very important when we get here, we make sure we don't have weight on our vertebra. We want the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the back of the head to be carrying weight and our vertebra to be free to move. Want the throat soft. And initially we're not really concerned about where the legs are. We're very interested in keeping the spine comfortable, the shoulders comfortable. And then when we're ready, we can play a little more with how we place the legs. And then when we're ready to, let's take the back onto the mat. So the hands usually give the hips some support. We slide carefully down. We wanna see if we can keep the throat soft, the neck comfortable. 
at some point we've got weight back on the hips and just bending the knees, have the hands hold the knees and just relax the weight of the legs. Use the arms to position the legs so our sacrum is flat. And then let's bring the knees about hips width apart and the feet just above knees. And keep the core strong so our sacrum's flat and we'll take both arms vertical for the ceiling. We're gonna rotate the arms, push up through the palms. We bring the arms down by the ears and press out. I wanna tuck the chin, lengthen the neck and look for the thighs. And let's take the arms wider apart, about 10 o'clock and two o'clock. And then shoulder width apart, just gently pressing out still with the arms. And then below the shoulders. And now closer to the hips, pushing outward, chin still tucked. Now keep the head on the ground here. And then with the head on the ground, just take some weight out of the head. So you still have the sensation of contact with the mat. And now bring the arms closer to the hips, a little higher, just to at the kind of just above the hips, pushing outward. And let the head float just off the ground, just a finger height. So we really can't see much more. I want to see if we can keep the neck long, look downward. And truly, it's very tempting to get the head like two or three fingers high, but really explore for one. And then rest the head down again. Bend the knees, bring the hands on the knees. Relax the legs, have the arms position the legs. Breathe into the belly. And then let go of the knees, let the feet just land on the ground, let the arms rest on the mat away from the sides. And let the knees come wide apart, find the outside edges of the feet. And then press evenly into the sacrum. We wanna use the belly, use the thighs to press the sacrum flat to the mat. And as we work with the legs and the hips, consciously relax the shoulder blades, the shoulders and arms. And keeping our neck long and have the eyes look downward. Staying released in shoulder blades, shoulders and arms. Okay, and let's soften the legs. And see if we can keep our sacrum flat just using the hips.
using the belly, using the hips. Legs are relaxed as we can get them in this position and the arms stay released. Okay, and let's extend one of the legs. And then the other. I'm just releasing the body, not making any effort. Just a few adjustments so it's able to relax and then letting go and following the breathing. Now let's move again through our fingers, our toes, ankles, wrists, moving through the arms and legs, lengthening, reaching, extending the back body. And then with the exhale, drawing the knees in, holding on and rocking gently. And we're going to travel all the way on to either side.
Namaste.